unfortunate in one way, angelic. There will be no suffering, no pain. You will cease to exist without ever knowing it. The sun is almost down. You're very lucky, Angelique. The night is on your side, so you will exist a little longer, but make the best of it, my dear, because the day belongs to me, and I will find you wherever you're hiding. I'll find you and destroy you forever. to go away together forever. Hear me now, wherever you are, and come to me. I am waiting for you. You will watch Jack tonight. And if it happens, you will follow Angelique, find out where she is hiding, and then tell me. Nicholas. I'll help you on one condition. I am not making any bargains with you. <laughs> You're in no position to refuse. I want you to help me prove, beyond all doubt, that Jeff is really Peter Bradford. And how do you expect me to do that? The powers you have give you a certain amount of control over time and space. Yes, so? Well, I want you to send me back in time. Back to the time when Peter Bradford and I were together. I want to be there long enough to get the proof I need. Well, you can do it, can't you? Yes, I can do it. But I am not going to. Then you can rot before I'll help you. Oh, you listen to me. I have had all I am going to take of your insolence. Now, I don't want to destroy you, Eve. But if you drive me to it, I will see that Adam gets another mate. And you return to your grave forever. I promise you. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Now, you go and watch Jeff Clark. You just watch him. And what am I supposed to do if Angelique does come to him? Stand by and watch him be victimized? Yes, I don't care about Jeff Clark. I only care about Angelique. Now go! You've been standing there. You know, I told you to stay away from this place and to stay away from me. You changed your wedding date because of me, didn't you? I changed my wedding date because I'm so in love with Vicky that I can't wait to marry her. And I'm going to tell you once and for all, you stay away from me and you get out of my life, okay? Follow him if I were you. Angelique! Don't look so shocked. Nicholas was right. You did come after Jeff. Don't be ridiculous. You stay away from him. Do you hear me? I'm not the least bit interested in Jeff. Then what are you doing here? It's you I came to see. Me? What for? I think it's time that you and I got better acquainted. Why? Because I think we're in a position to help each other. <laughs> You're in no position to help anyone. When Nicholas finds out where you are, he's going to find out. What's to keep me from telling him? I don't think you know very much about 
Won't I ask? I know enough to know that Nicholas is more powerful than you are. Yes, that's true. It's a shame he won't use his power to help you, isn't it? I don't know what you mean. Of course you do. Early this evening, you tried to get him to do you a little favor, and he turned you down, didn't he? How did you know that? Never mind. The point is, I came here to see you tonight because I can do for you what Nicholas refused to do. I don't believe you. You don't have that kind of power. I can send you back to the past for a brief period of time, long enough for you to do what you want to do. No. No, this is just some kind of a trick. What reason would I have to trick you? I don't know. But I'm not going to make the mistake of trusting you long enough to find out. Eve, you let me help you or you can forget about Jeff Clark because he doesn't want you. And he isn't going to want you. Not unless you can prove beyond any doubt that he really is Peter Bradford. I'll find a way to prove it to you. This is the 20th century, Eve. There's no way to find any absolute proof now. But the proof exists in the year 1795. And I can send you there. When you return, you'll be able to be with Jeff again. It'll be so easy. Think about it, Eve. It'll be so easy. Well. It seems you're not as anxious to have Jeff Clark as you pretended to be. Good night, Eve. No, wait. Assuming you're able to do what you say you can do, why are you so willing to help me? I'm surprised you even asked that question. I hate Nicholas just as much as you do. Is that the only reason? No. So now that Nicholas is searching for me, I need someone to protect me during the day. And that's what you want me for? If I'm able to get you what you want, it'll be worth it to you, won't it? Yes. How soon can you send me back? Tonight, at midnight. How are you going to do it? You'll find out when the time comes. And this shall be your sufficient warrant, given under my hand and seal on this, the 23rd day of April in the year of our Lord, 1795. Signed by the governor. We have only a few hours. You best start preparing things now. What the devil is happening here? Who are you? I'm here to see one of your prisoners. But. Where did you come from? How did you get in here? Through the door. You couldn't have come in through the door. We would have heard you. You were too busy reading whatever you were reading. May I ask what that document is? A death warrant signed by the governor. There's going to be a hanging tonight. Who is going to be hanged? A man named Peter Bradford. <laughs> Peter Bradford is the man I am here to see. You still haven't told me who you are. My name is not important. Are you related to the prisoner? At one time we were going to be married, but I've been away for six months. Married? That is most interesting. Why do you find it interesting? It's a pity Mr. Bradford has to die. He apparently had a way with beautiful women. What does that mean? A few short weeks ago, it appeared that he might marry another young lady. Unfortunately, she was found guilty of practicing witchcraft and was hanged. She was someone who lived here in Collinsport? Her name was Gloria Winters. But no one seemed to know how she got here or where she came from. Victoria Winters died here? All we know is... She was hanged. 
But whether she died or not is something everyone in Collinsport is still wondering about. I don't know what you mean. Before she went to the gallows, she asked the hangman to put a mask over her head. After the execution, they took the mask off, and it wasn't her. It was some young lady that we've never seen before. Nobody knows how or why it happened, but it convinced us all that she must have been a witch. You have a visitor, Mr. Bradford. A lady. You don't seem very happy to see me. Look, there's nothing between us anymore. <laughs> I think the reason you're here is rather ironic, don't you? You condemn me for killing a man, and then you turn around and kill one yourself. I didn't kill anybody. You mean you're innocent? That's right. And they don't believe you? Yes. They don't believe me. And that's the only irony I see. You're guilty of killing, and you're free, and I'm innocent, and they're going to hang me. No. No, they're not, Peter. Well, you must know something I don't. Oh, they think they're going to hang you. They're wrong. Yeah, why? We can go away, leave Collinsport together, and change the course of history. What? She said if I, if I stayed more than six hours... Come on, I don't know what you're talking about. Peter, do you want to live or don't you? Of course I do. Then I'll help you escape. What do you want me to do? Just be ready when I come to get you. I'll arrange everything else. I have the chance to give you your freedom on the condition that you'll go away with me. I don't know. I just don't know. Seems to me you don't have much of a choice. If you refuse me, why, they'll hang you tonight. It's as simple as that. You can't tell me you want them to hang you, especially for a crime you didn't commit. No, I don't want to die. Then let me help you. All right, look, do whatever you have to do. I'll need a few hours. I, I'll have to go to Collingwood and find Ben Stokes. Ben Stokes? What for? I told you I'm going to need some help. And Ben Stokes is the one person who could never refuse me anything. Jailer! It destroyed. You know I don't believe in witchcraft. And I certainly never believed that Victoria Winters was a witch. But this book, I do believe is cursed. Why? It has to be. It isn't possible for anyone to set down future history. Miss Winters believed it truly came from the 20th century. Do you believe it? I don't know. Well, I don't. It's impossible. If there is such a thing as black magic, then I think this book is a product of it. I believe that the madness and tragedy that we've been witness to will end. Once this book is destroyed. What do you want me to do with it? Take it out of this house. Take it far into the woods. As far as you can. And burn it. Burn every page of it. Take it, Stokes. you doing here? I you weren't to... ever supposed to come back. I had to come back when I heard that Peter was in trouble. He's in trouble, all right. There's nothing anyone can do about it. You're wrong. There is something that we can do, and I'm going to do it, and you're going to help me. Oh, I'm not. I don't know what kind of scheming you've been up to, but I won't have anything to do with it, you hear? Do you want Peter Bradford to die? There's no way of preventing it now. You didn't answer my question. No, no, of course I don't want him to die. And yet you're willing to stand by and see it be done, even though you know he's innocent. I told you there's nothing anyone can do. There is, if only you'll do as I tell you. No. 
Helping you in one of your schemes means hurting somebody else. I want no part of it. I guarantee you that no one will be hurt. I've worked out a very simple plan for Peter's escape. All you have to do is arrange to have two horses outside the jail when I'm ready. Please, Ben. You can't let them hang an innocent man. I want to know what your plan is. I'm going to get the jailer alone and give him something that will put him to sleep. Poison? No, just a harmless drug. The other men at the jail will be outside in the courtyard preparing the gallows. I'll get the keys from the jailer and release Peter. You sure the jailer won't be hurt? No, I have no reason to hurt him. I don't even know the man. I just want him to be asleep long enough to let Peter get away. Right. I'll have the horses ready. There's one thing I want you to know. What's that? I'm doing this for Peter Bradford, not you. As long as you do it, Ben, that's all I care about. You come back here and get the horses in about an hour. No, now, Ben. No, I can't do it now. I got something I have to do for Mr. Collins first. What? This book. Don't ask me to explain why, but he wants it burnt. Oh, we don't have that much time, Ben. Look, does it matter whether the book is burned now or later tonight? Well, I, I don't know. Then I... it will be done tonight, after we help Peter. Here, I'll take the book and I'll give it back to you after you bring the horses. No, you, you better not. I, I don't want anything to happen to it. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Ben. What could happen to it? Now, I know you have your doubts about me, but surely you can trust me to take care of a worthless book. All right. You give it back to me when I bring the horses. Yes, I will. Now hurry, Ben. Peter, has something gone wrong? I'm not going through with it. Why? Ben is outside with the horses. I'm going to stay here. Why? They're going to hang you. I know. I, you don't care? Look, I know this will be difficult for you to understand. That's right, it is. You must be out of your mind. I put it all down in this note, all my reasons. I know it'll be hard for you to understand and, and hard for you to accept, but read it. Where could she have gone if she's run away? If she's gone against my orders, I will destroy her. I will handle Adam another way. Come in. Good morning, Vicky. Oh, good morning. You couldn't ask for a nicer day for your wedding. I know. What are you doing up so early? Oh, I heard you stirring around, so I came to see how you were. I, I hope I didn't wake you. I dress for the hundred millionth time. You look lovely. You're going to make a beautiful bride, Vicky. I hope Jeff thinks so. Well, of course he will. You look absolutely radiant. I've never been so happy. And so am I. I haven't felt this way in a long time. It's so strange to, to feel happy and frightened at the same time. What do you mean? Well, I love Jeff. I want to make him a good wife. And I don't want anything to go wrong. Well, what could go wrong? I don't know. Oh, I guess all brides are nervous on their wedding day. Of course. You and Jeff are going to be very happy together, I know it. I'll see you at breakfast. Where do you go when you go for these walks? Oh, I walk in the woods. Nicholas told me you're walking along the beach. No, Nicholas was mistaken. Well, it seems strange to me. What does? That when you disappear from this house for long periods of time, you tell me the same thing. That you've been 
off for a walk. But I like to take walks. What's strange about that? You never asked me to go with you. In fact, you don't want me to. Oh, Adam. I'm only trying to protect you. Protect me? Yes. You're wanted by the police. If anyone should see you, you would be in trouble. Yes, that's very and true. I can come and go as I please. If anyone should see me, it wouldn't matter, because no one knows who I am now that Barnabas Collins and Julia Hoffman have gone. And I like to get out of this house every once in a while. Can't you understand that? Oh, yes. Then what's bothering you? Is there someone else? What? Is there someone else? Someone who you see when you leave this house. Adam, how can you think such a thing? Eve, you're very beautiful. And many men would want you. If there is someone else, I want to know about it. Adam, I... Tell me the truth. You're not knowing the truth about me hurts me. I don't understand. And you don't understand very much about women. What do you mean? Don't you know how... It's so difficult to say. Just say it. Don't you know how I feel about you? Sometimes I think you hate me. Hate you? Yes. That's how you act sometimes. I do? You seem so surprised to hear me say that. Well, I am because oh, you haven't understood me at all. I have? No. If I seem irritable at times, it's because... I, well, because I, I've had a very difficult adjustment to make. Just as you have had. Can't you understand that? Yes. My outbursts of temper have had nothing to do with you. They have. I was created for you, Adam, so that we could be together. I want us to be together. You do? Yes, of course. But when you look at me sometimes, my scars, I, I know how ugly they are. Not to me. I don't care about your scars. I think you're the most handsome man I've ever seen. I can't believe you really said that. I did, and I meant every word of it. You have changed. So suddenly. Perhaps the change wasn't as sudden as you seem to think it was. Perhaps it happened so gradually you didn't even see it happening. You really care for me? More and more every day. I so much want to believe that's true. Now, do you believe it? Yes. Are you happy? Me very happy. I'm glad. I want to make you happy. I. I should apologize. Oh, for what? For thinking there was someone else. Don't think about it. Forget it ever happened. I have. Right now, if there was someone else, I think I'd kill him. Stop remembering what happened to me, but I can't. Vicky, I don't pretend to understand your experience in the past, but it's only natural for you to think about it. I don't want to. It upsets Jeff and it confuses me. I wish I could just pretend that I'd made it all up. That's what you should do. Yes, I want to. I want to think about the present and the future. The man I'm marrying is Jeff Clark. That's all I know, and that's all I want to know. Oh, it's lovely. 
this one means so much to me. I know who it's from without even reading the card. Who? A nurse at the foundling home. Miss Norris, she, she was very kind to me. I, I used to admire this necklace so. It, it had been in her family for generations. When I was a little girl, she used to let me wear it on special occasions. Now she wants me to have it. Well, that's a lovely gesture. Yes, it is. It's so strange. When I was there at the family home, I used to feel that I was so alone. I really wasn't at all. Vicky, it's pretty obvious from all the presents you've received that there are many people who care about you. I know. It makes me so happy. Well, what is it? This book. Don't you recognize it? It's the Collins family history. It's it's the book I, I, I took with me into the past. It's the book I left there. That's impossible. It's the same book. Where could it have come from? Who, who could have sent it? There's a car. Who's it from? 